Hey guys, what's going on? This is Alex with HD Alex Films, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite top 10 features of iOS 8 Beta 1. iOS 8 Beta 1 was released on June 2nd, 2014 at Apple's annual WWDC convention, alongside with OS X 10 Yosemite. So without any further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. Alright, feature number one is quick reply for messages, banners, and alerts. The way this works is every time you receive a text message and it comes up in banner form, you can just swipe down right on the notification center and quickly reply to your recipient whoever sent you the text message. If you notice, you get a new keyboard layout which I will show you guys in the next feature of new iOS 8. And this is a very cool thing because you can quickly reply to your uh, friends, messages, teammates, or whatever you want to call them and easily reply to them in a quick rush if you're in a hurry without having to open up fully the message application. Feature number two in iOS 8 is called Quick Type. A Quick Type allows you to have a different type of keyboard in iOS 8, which has been enhanced to provide uh, sort of the same action Android now does on there, except this keyboard sort of learns from your typing. So if you're a guy who doesn't really use um, straight language or doesn't use proper grammar you're gonna be noticing that it's gonna sort of adapt to that and will bring up some slang terms if you notice you can type a quick message a long message pretty much just doing this in this case I'm just typing on my intro that I normally say to you guys every single time I start a video just like that and it learns from that Alright, feature number three is called Audio Video Reply. Audio Video Reply allows you to reply with an audio or video file just by clicking or holding that microphone and then talking into your device. All you have to do is tap on that microphone and talk into your microphone as well as it records your video right over there. And then you have the option to send it to your recipient or cancel it. So it uh, makes it very easy to communicate and I have been looking forward to this so I can show you. I have just said my intro to you guys and I'm um, going to send that to myself uh, quickly all you do is just tap the arrow above to send it to someone and then tap the X to delete it this does send very quickly and to someone who does not have the new iOS 8 it will come as an audio file number four is do not disturb for messages so I've been looking at this and Thank God it's here. It's the do not disturb for messages. So if you do not want to be disturbed in a group chat, this is the thing to turn on. All you do is just flip the switch to go on and flip the switch to go off, on, off, and then mute the notification for the conversation. However, this does only work for group chats, but this is very good because I've always been in a situation where I cannot get without group chats. Number five is called New Mail App Enhancements. New Mail App Enhancements are absolutely great, although I don't really use them that much. However, all you do is just a swipe to the left on a message and then you can tap the more button which brings up the option for you to reply, forward, flag, mark as read, move to junk, move message, or notify me when another follow up message occurs. You have the option to flag and then archive the message later in your ma mail inbox. I'm not a big mail user, but however, I do use it time to time to check my YouTube email or any email that has come through me from my YouTubers or anything like that. Important, that's the word, that's where I go. All right, number six is coming up here on uh, Spotlight Suggestions. This is a very, very cool feature because uh, the way this works is you just have to type in a movie or something. I'm just going to type in Neighbors, and it's going to automatically come up with the movie. I just had to type in Nay, and it came up with Neighbors, rated R, and it's got a 73% uh, laughter rating. So it's, it's pretty funny. I, I watched it myself. I really do like it. Number seven is Photos App Editing Features, which come with more built-in photo app editing features. I will walk you through them each by each. Uh, if we go here to the red eye reduction, all you have to do is just tap each red eye to remove the red eye. Uh, over here you have the auto enhance which will pretty much do the auto enhancements for you however this is just a standing picture it's not a stand it's not a regular picture it's just an animation over here you have the crop uh, folder as well as just a small little gauge right there which just tells you uh, your degrees of cropping down here you, we've seen what we've seen before in the camera option with iOS 8 is the new uh, filters over here is a new change. You can change the light of the image as well as the contrast. However, 
the light does lag quite a bit but again this is still in beta form so it's nothing new but in the public version i'm sure that we will see hardly any lag in ios 8 so we're looking forward to that as well as some more stuff um coming up on feature number nine i really do like feature number nine and that is the hey siri command so every time i just say hey siri siri will automatically pop up and then it will just show me and automatically tell me some more stuff in siri so i can just say some stuff here and it will tell you what can i help you with and then it'll of course come up with more stuff and feature number nine is favorite and recent contacts and app switcher. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you this because I just came out for Fresh Restore with iOS 8. So I cannot show you because I do not have any recently contacted contacts. Or as a matter of fact, I don't even have any contacts registered on my device. But it would just appear right above the apps, which makes it a great way to save up space on Apple's app switcher. Number 10 is to edit notification center features. This is one of the best things because it always annoys me how I have too many things in my notification center. In this case, all you have to do is scroll down and then I'm gonna get rid of the stocks application or stock section and notification. All you do is click on edit and then drag down the stocks to do not include and click on done and you even have the option to completely delete it from your notification center. Unfortunately, there is no way to gain it back. So if you do ever need it, you cannot get it back unless going into the stocks application. This has been a wonderful video for you guys. Hope to bring you guys more videos about iOS 8. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos of iOS 8. I will be bringing you guys more videos of iOS 7 and hopefully OS X Yosemite once I get my developer account signed in. Because so far I have not updated my phone to do that. So that has been a great video for you guys. Bye guys. Talk to you in my next one. If you guys like this, please make sure to drop a subscribe, drop a like, subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.